Okay, this problem is asking us to graph the quadratic function functions given right here. They want us to find the vertex, x and y intercepts, and the axis of symmetry. All right. First, let's start by analyzing is this parabola going to open up or down? From our formulas, we can see that a if it's bigger than 0, it will open up a smaller than zero, open down. This is in vertex form, so the A is in front of the parentheses. Is it positive or negative? For us, it's bigger than zero, therefore our parabola will open up. You can also double check by opening up the parentheses for this formula, and if you'll see when you're done that in front of your x square, you will have a positive 1. So, we established our parabola opens up. Upward. So it will look something like this. Okay, the vertex. Okay, the vertex, that's very easy to find. Since our function is in vertex form, we can just look at the h and the k, and that will give us the vertex. Okay, the h, the negative, stays in the formula, so we'll take just the 3, plus k, plus negative 9, so we'll take the negative 9. There you go, that's our vertex. Let's look at our intercepts. We're going to open up the parentheses with this formula. x square minus 2x times 3 plus 3 to the square negative 9. This will cancel each other out. All we have left is x square minus 6x. Okay. In order to find the intercept, we'll put it equal to 0, we'll factor it, x times x minus 6 equals 0. From here, very easy to see, x-intercept will be 0 and 6. Those are our two x-intercepts. If we want to find the y-intercept, we can take this y equals x squared minus 6x, we'll put the x equal to 0. If we plug in, we'll see that our y will be equal to 0. Alright, let's start graphing. This is our x axis. y axis okay our parabola opens up so its vertex will be on the bottom like this so let's mark the vertex first one two three and negative nine one two three four five six seven eight and this will be our negative nine There you go, there's our vertex. Let's mark it. 3, negative 9. Okay, we can see that very nicely where it is. Okay, since it opens up, it's gonna go upwards from here and here. This will be its most minimum point. There's nothing gonna be lower than this. So, it's going to cross the x-axis at 0, and it's going to cross again at 6. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, right here. This is our 0, this is our 6. Okay, and opens up, so let's go from our vertex towards the x-intercept on this side. 
we go from the vertex towards the other x-intercept and go upwards just like we calculated. There you go. We can see that this zero matches the x and the y-intercept. And the only thing left, let's look at the axis of symmetry. Axis of symmetry will happen at the vertex and that would be around this line. If we fold the function around this line, it will match each other like your two hands. Therefore, our axis of symmetry will be at x equals 3. Alrighty, that would be it.